morning it's friday the 6th of october and i'm back on form no more grumpy laney today i'm going to bring you to a whole day in the life day of eating i've got a muscle food delivery coming i'm going to go to primark later hopefully and pick up some stuff so i'll do a bit of a primark haul i'm going to take you through my morning and my current stretches and how you can fix your posture to start off the morning every morning i have a decaf coffee with coconut almond milk and i have one of my salted caramel protein muffins now the recipe for this is on my recipe channel if you haven't checked it out check it out now as as always I have my two best friends Bailey and Roxy. Do not want to go outside. Where's Bailey gone? Where's Bailey gone without you? Good girl. We still have not found a house. We're still looking actively and hopefully we will find one soon. Breakfast time. Lex is on cereal surprise. And I am on some oats, some protein powder. I'm gonna add in some of the high fiber bran. I have my oats on water. 35 grams of oats, 15 grams of high fiber bran, 15 grams of Quest protein powder, peanut butter. I mix mine with about 150 ml of water and I add a pinch of salt and then into the microwave and then I'm gonna to top it with some berries and I'm gonna add in some egg whites. 70 grams of the frozen blueberries. I've added a teaspoon of candorel to the top to sweeten it. A teaspoon of the ground cinnamon as well. Simply gonna pop this in the microwave and it just makes a really nice berry compost for on top of your porridge. I have microwaved the oats and the protein powder and now I'm gonna add in about 50 grams of these egg whites and then I'm gonna microwave again for 30 seconds. Here we have our cakey oats. I have my blueberry compost, which was very easily made. I'm just gonna pour it in on top. Do you see it? Now I'm going to enjoy my delicious oats for breakfast and then I'm going to show you some Pilates exercises, just some very simple ones to help improve your posture, improve your core strength and can simply be done at home on a daily basis without too much hassle. It's coffee o'clock. I'm making an, ex an espresso with um, some cream on top and I use these little cheapo Nespresso capsules that I got in Lidl. They're like a Kenyan limited edition one and they're really nice. And um, I bought out everything that they had prior to them going out of stock. And now they're gone, so I'm down to my last two boxes. So if anyone sees the limited edition ones in Lidl, the Kenyan ones, let me know because I want them. And I'm making myself a coconut almond milk cappuccino um, with one of the Gourmetso coconut flavored capsules. Kind of a coconutty coffee. Here we have Lex's espresso with some low fat squirty cream and then my coconut almond milk cappuccino. A couple of videos ago, I was showing you a few of the things I picked up in Asa, and one of them was Blend Bros um, sauces, and I have been trying them out, and they kindly sent me the full selection. So we have the sweet chili sauce, peri peri sauce, barbecue sauce, and the ketchup. Now these are virtually macro-free, calorie-free. I have to say, the smoked barbecue is really good. I'm not very keen on the ketchup. The sweet chili just kind of tastes a bit watered down. It's not like thick enough for something. It's just a bit watery. But definitely, if you're looking for a low-carb alternative to barbecue sauce, I definitely recommend the Blend Bros. And you can pick it up in any as the supermarket right now. I've been faffing about on the internet all morning, trying to avoid looking at houses, but then at the same time, looking at houses because you just can't help it when you're house hunting. I'm going to enjoy this coffee and then I promise I'm going to do some of my Pilates moves for you guys and just show you the difference between good and bad posture. I'm now going to quickly take you through good and bad posture and how if you have bad posture you can correct it very very simply and then I'm going to demonstrate some simple Pilates exercises which will help strengthen your core and alleviate these imbalances that cause you to have a bad posture. Thanks to social media and Instagram, a lot of us have quite a bad anterior pelvic tilt. So this is what I would naturally stand like. As you can see, I've got uh, quite a bad lordosis there. My abdomen is protruding. And you can see the curve from my shoulder down to my lower back. This is actually putting pressure on my lower back and it's weakening my abdomen. 
this is how we're simply going to correct it so from here you're going to just feel like you're pushing your ribs down in turn when you push your ribs down your bum tucks under and you get more of a neutral spine and as you can see that's a much better stance you can see from the front so here we have the pelvic tilt pushing our ribs down you can actually visualize the abs contracting and pulling up now from here this what's happening is that here is your core muscles they are underneath your abdominal muscles and they are what sucks you in this takes pressure off your lower spine and it strengthens that core and lower abdominal muscles this is something very simple that you can do. Just think about pushing those ribs down when you're in the queue at the supermarket, when you're in the gym and you're weight training, when you're on the treadmill, when you're in work. Always think about pushing those ribs down and then it contracts that core muscle. It is pulling up the diaphragm and pulling in the core. And it's just going to give you better posture. It's gonna make you appear taller. It's gonna take pressure off your lower back and strengthen the abs. If you're looking for a smaller waist, you're looking to look more elegant and taller, just that simple, simple change is gonna just change the way you look forever. Now I'm gonna take you through some simple Pilates exercises that will help strengthen that core to me. We're gonna to start today by simply correcting our posture again. If you have a yoga mat, we're gonna just lie down on the yoga mat like so. From here, you can see this is too much. I can fit my whole arm underneath my back. So we're gonna again flatten down the ribs and we have a slight, it's called a neutral pelvis, a neutral spine, and there is a slight curve on your spine, your core is strong, your ribs are flattened down, arms by the side, we're gonna bend in those knees. And from here, we're simply gonna lift up. Now we're gonna lift through the core and up. So we're not lifting with the head, we're lifting head and shoulders up off the ground to here. Now, as you can see, we still have our core engaged and we're just gonna hold this. Arms out in front, and this is the simple beginner's level 100. And from here, we're gonna breathe in for five and out for five. In for five and out for five. In for five and out for five. In, out. In, and out. In, and out. In, and out. Again, keeping that core strong in, and out. Last two, in and out. And last one, in and out. And then we lower back down, relax back down. If you have any issues with neck strain during the exercise, you can simply lift your hand up to your neck to relieve some of the pressure because you want to feel this in your core. Now the 100 is called the 100 because you breathe in for five counts and out for five counts, that's 10 counts and you repeat this 10 times. If you found that quite easy, you can simply progress to lifting the legs up into tabletop position and again, lifting up. And to progress from here, we're gonna straighten out the legs and lift up. Again, this is a more advanced technique we're just going to start out with feet firmly on the ground legs hip distance apart taking yourself up into a seated position you've got your legs hip distance apart feet in line with the knees knees in line with the hips we're keeping it nice and strong core strong from here hands behind the knees and we're simply going to roll off the pelvis halfway down and back up and we're just going to roll back off the tailbone and we're using the core strength bring us back up. Now your hands are just lightly on the side of the legs, they're not holding on for dear life. So roll back and back up. This is simply going to strengthen your core even further. So back down and up. 
and again taking a deep breath in and back up out and as you can see you curve that spine and back up and down and back up and we're just going to repeat it two more times and back up and down and back up all the time keeping your shoulders relaxed core is strong back straight legs hip distance apart with feet firmly on the ground and you just simply roll back and back up so that's the second exercise we have first of all we have the hundred and then that is the roll back now we will progress from rolling half the way back to rolling all the way down and using the core to bring you back up seated but first things first we get the basics together next exercise we're going to roll it down all the way down knees hip distance apart feet firmly on the ground again finding that neutral spine so not pushing it into the ground and we're not arching it up that neutral spine that you can just about fit your hand in under your back relax those shoulders down core strong and from here we're going to simply elevate the right knee up into a 90 degree angle and we're going to feel like there's a pencil on coming out of your knee and you're going to trace a little circle about the size of a dinner plate now from the ear we're just rotating through the hip and we're going to do eight rotations eight rotations outwards and then we're going to reverse it so bringing it back in and again keeping everything else still you're going to really concentrate on keeping this supporting hip down and in the correct position strengthening through the core the entire time and just two more and then bring it down again and then we're going to raise up the second leg so elevate that leg up into a nice 90 degree angle again like you have a paintbrush or a pencil coming out of your knee and you're drawing these lovely circles so out away from the body first and again keeping that supporting side nice and strong and we're going to do eight rotations out and then back to center and then in the opposite direction so nice and strong and back to center and then we replace the foot down this is really going to loosen up that whole pelvis region and again this strengthens the core because all your stability is coming from holding that core in place we repeat this exercise four times on each leg now we're going to do something very simple again bringing yourself down shoulders relaxed down back and spine in neutral position we're lifting up through that pelvis feet firmly on the ground from here we're going to glide the legs up into a 90 degree angle keep those feet together from here we're going to bring it up now we have the head leading up we're leading through the chest shoulders relaxed down relaxing that neck as much as possible from here we're going to just point out and in one leg at a time remembering to breathe holding your breath is not going to help and we're going to do five of each leg and then take a break bringing it in roll back down one foot and one foot from here take a deep breath in and out now we're going to pull in the knees just have a quick stretch so both knees into the chest and we're just going to roll through the spine and again reverse it and rolling through bring the feet back down and we're going to repeat again so bringing the two legs up to a 90 degree angle 
raising it up and from here we're going to just release one leg at a time keeping it nice and strong shoulders relaxed down pulling up through the core and last one and again hugging those knees into the chest we roll to the right and then roll to the left bringing it up you can repeat that exercise a couple of times until you feel like you have it strengthened and improved from here we're simply going to stay in this lovely stretch position from here this is called the mermaid and we're going to stretch it over and you're going to get a lovely big stretch up through the hands and through the fingertips and then opposite side over and this is just a really nice stretch that you can put in at the end of any workout or even just to wake up in the morning over and over and then we just switch around the legs so as you can see we've got one leg in front of the other and it's just a nice big stretch so over through the fingertips of a few very simple Pilates exercises that will help strengthen your core, get you into a better posture and get you those abs that you really want. If you like this kind of video comment below and I can do more Pilates videos. I enjoy doing it and instructing it and I am a trained instructor so I'm not just pulling it out of my butt. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of my beginner's Pilates and maybe we can progress through to intermediate and more difficult maneuvers and positions. As I have completed my little bit of core strengthening, I'm now going to go and shower and get into some human clothes and maybe go and hit up Primark and see what they've got going on. This is my outfit for today. I've got a crop top by Monkey on. I've got jeans from Zara from last year and shoes are by Whistles. This is about as fashionable as I get. Our muscle food delivery has just arrived. I'll take you through what we got and any of the new products that they have in that you want to fancy trying. This is what it looks like. Starting with breakfast, I would be having egg whites and I usually scramble it with some of this cheese. We've got some bacon medallions and some smoked salmon, which I also like for breakfast. Muscle Food are now stocking Hex sausages. You can get them in the supermarket as well, but these are awesome. And I really love this flavor, the spring chicken ones. These are the best macros as well. And we've got the crisps, which I love to snack on. Lex likes the cheese and onion and I like the salt and vinegar, and they are really, really good and awesome macros per pack there's 2.5 fat five carb and 12 protein so really good macros and they're super tasty and tonight for dinner i think i'll be having some of the sweet potato fries and then i'm going to use some of the minced chicken and make us some chicken burgers and chips we'll use the sprouted grain burger buns and have them for the burgers so for our snacks me and lex both love these dr Sachs cookies they have the best macros and are super tasty i've already had one of these today so you can put that into my day of eating Last time I got a muscle food order, I ordered a variety of the PhD diet whey bars just to taste them and the salted caramel was my favourite so I got a box of them. I'm really liking protein milky whey bars at the moment, they've got really super good macros, only 4.1 grams of fat. These are like the best protein brownies ever and they are from muscle food and they just are super chocolatey and really do taste like a brownie i've also got some minced beef and minced pork i'm gonna probably make a meatloaf with that these look quite unassuming but they are lex's favorite go-to bar they're like a pretzel bar and they're really really tasty and have good macros too 
they sent me through a few of these chicken fillets so they're just wrapped chicken fillets and they've got really good macros and as you can see they're quite small but like you could handily bring them for your lunch or in your handbag if you're out and about and then be able to snack on them okay so they've sent me through some of the grenade spreads i haven't tried them yet and i don't know if i trust myself with them because i know they're going to be super tasty I've also ordered in some whey because Muscle Foods stock a lot of the Optin Nutrition and other brands of whey and their own brands of whey as well. So if you're looking for somewhere to get everything in one place. Over here we have, as I said, the burger buns and then the Dr. Zach's High Protein Bagels for Lex. And I love the Joseph's wraps and pita breads. They're just really good macros. So if you like any of the products or you want to get any feedback on any of the products from me, just hit me up in the comments below and I'll answer your questions and I do have a discount code below as well in the description box. Back in from Primark and from the shopping but it was very unsuccessful. I picked up one pair of jeans which I saw um, Karis, the ZB Karis, um, had put up on her Primark haul and I had to get a pair so I got a pair of them and that's it. I didn't really get anything but I'm just going to have one of my super fruity yogurts and I top it with some PB2. And then I'm gonna go and try and make some dinner. Lex is in from the gym, so we're gonna have some. A video on my video. <laughs> a video on my video, goddammit. This is my video. No. Mine. No, that's only a phone. Burgers. Not Camera. Yours. Mine. Trump's burgers. Phone. Mine. We're having burgers now. Eat a burger. I'm eating burgers. <laughs> Lex is so I'm annoying. eating them all. He's stealing this on purpose. We are having my Thai chicken burgers with some of the sweet potato fries that we got in today. I'm gonna top it with some of the blend bros, I think, tonight. And we've got some cucumber, like it's the same. He's putting some low fat feta this is the cheese. Difference maker. So it's all meaningless, really. The lady basically makes the foundation of, of any meal, though, that turns into those you know, spectacular meals. It's, it's the little things that I do at the end, you know, when all the easy stuff's been done. It's hard, but I struggle through. <clears throat> Lexus I know, life. I know, divorce. Final note of Lex and I getting a divorce. <laughs> we're going to leave you now and we're going to enjoy our Friday night. Bake away, I suppose it is. Bake away. Bake Just, away. Do try feta on your chicken burgers or lamb burgers. It's don't. Mm -hmm. Don't. Not real feta, it's that stuff. I know, but don't ruin my recipe. What are you doing? <laughs> Mm, I wouldn't recommend feta on a Thai chicken burger myself, but well, I'm not going to be chilly with it, am I? But I'm leaving the vlog here. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And um, this is. Yeah. And if you think yeah. that feta cheese, don't is the unsubscribe to Alexa's channel. <laughs> okay, later. Divorce.